Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another mailbag for you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have possibly the biggest mailbag ever on the channel. I got a huge order from Adafruit Industries. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and get this open here and get this out on the bench. There is a pile of stuff in here, guys. This should be a lot of fun. Lots of future projects here. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can get this unwrapped here. They did a great job of packing. Shipping was fast. This is, guys, this is from Adafruit Industries out of New York. I think they're in Manhattan. You might be familiar with Lamore, Freed, and uh, Phil. Great bunch. Gonna love this stuff. Right off the top, guys, we've got a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B 1 gig unit. Super excited to give this a go. Uh, I won't put overlays on the screen for this whole video. I'll just cover some of the products, but look forward to this in an upcoming video. I can't wait. We've got a triple axis magnetometer and compass board. As with all the Adafruit products, this thing is just a gorgeous looking little board. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've never played with a magnetometer before. About time we give it a go on the channel, guys. Here we've got a thermal printer. This came as a startup kit. It's kind of all over the place in here. We got some extra paper, but we're going to integrate this into the electric imp project and give it a go and we'll see how this goes. But basically this is like your little point of sale printers, but really nice little package. Really, really nice little unit. I'm looking forward to this. Next up, we have something I've just never owned before. We've got a Heiko 599B. This is for cleaning the tip of your soldering iron. Guys, I've been using this silly sponge for too long. Actually, all my soldering irons have had sponges, and I've never owned one of these. Uh, Adafruit car carries them at a really great price. I just had to give it a try. Really nice little unit. We're going to give this a go on an upcoming build video. Guys, we got a vibration motor. These are a little tactile transducer, and I'm going to give this a try. Try and incorporate it into the robot arm project, as well as I have a couple of uh, headset type projects in mind. Look forward to that in an upcoming video too. Guys, I've wanted one of these for a long time. This is the Adafruit PowerBoost 500. This is a standalone uh, USB charger and, charger and LiPo maintainer. And Adafruit is one of the only companies I have ever seen that produces a good quality unit like this. And as far as I remember, you can basically use this for a UPS with, uh, with your Pi because the switching time is so fast if you chose to unplug it you won't even disturb the output a unbelievable little board i can't wait to give this a try i wanted one for a long time get one of the big ones out here guys again something that i have lacked forever a monster breadboard setup with terminals so we can actually just hook power and really breadboard some some larger projects uh, instead of me having them on the small ones all the time you can see in the background this will give me a one-stop shop to proto some of the big projects can't wait to use this for the Pi, we got a breakout for the gpio uh, not much to it guys other than uh it it this will break it out from the gpio on the pi out to a breadboard uh, really looking forward to giving this a try too a common theme here guys uh, it should be a lot of fun as well we got a proto shield for the pi uh, let's see if we can get this out of the package we got a proto pi hat this should be really neat for the Pi projects. EEPROM on board as well. Really cool little board. Uh, as usual with the Adafruit stuff, just beautiful silk screening on there. Really, really nice little board. Can't wait to give it a go. Let's see what else we got here, guys. We got a 1200 milliamp hour LiPo. Don't have too many of these single cell lipos in the larger sizes. This gives us 1.2 amp hours in a really, really small size. Should be a lot of fun. Another Power Boost 500. Guys, we got some JST pin cables. These are pretty straightforward. I just don't have any of them for hooking up uh, uh, power supply circuits to stuff with JST pins. Pretty handy. 
We got the 1905 Mini Lipo Charger, a really simple little charger circuit. Uh, again, from Adafruit, we can't go too far wrong with these. Here's the main driver of this order, guys. This is the CC3000 Wi-Fi breakout board. I got a couple of them. I'm looking forward to giving this a go. This is the Adafruit solution to adding Wi-Fi to just about anything. Uh, board silk screened at version 1.1. We're going to give this a try live and we're going to see if we can hook up to the Adafruit.io, their new I.O. for their website where we can share uh, data and uploads online to their web service and this should be a lot of fun. We got the haptic driver, the 2305 as well. It's an Adafruit original. This is for driving those small haptic drivers, the, the vibration motors. So it should work pretty good. Got another LiPo here. This one's a little bigger. We got 2700 milliamp hour. It's so special it came in its own box. I don't have any single cell LiPos anywhere close to this size, so this should be pretty handy. This would make a really great battery with the Power Boost 500. I see no reason this shouldn't work really nice for the Raspberry Pi. Pretty cool little combo here. And as well, we got some basic stuff. We got some N-series transistors. Uh, I just didn't have any of these. And we got an N-series MOSFET. Uh, this is a little high power MOSFET so that we can drive some, some high current items and uh, should work pretty good for what I have in mind for the upcoming project. Guys, that's my Adafruit haul for this week. Biggest electronic order I have ever gotten on the show. I'm looking forward to giving each and every one of these components a go, and I will try and include every one of them in an upcoming video. Guys, if you would like these kind of videos, please consider a thumbs up down below. It really helps out the channel. Please support Adafruit. They're a great company, socially responsible, and they provide us these components that we truly need. Thanks for watching.